Welcome to a recording to explore the Coquille River watershed TMDL mapping tool. When you first come to this web tool or to this link up at the top here, you have a splash screen that appears which explains the mapping tool in summary format. You can scroll down on the right side here to get a little more information. If you would like to not see the splash screen again in the future, you click here to get a check mark and then press OK. If you'd like it to continue to appear every time you open the browser, simply keep it unclicked and press OK. For more information and detailed information, you can either go to the About tab over in the top right corner here and click on that to expose more information on how to use this tool, some quick tips. For even more detail, you can click here on this live link that will take you to the user's guide uh, based at the Oregon Department of Environmental Quality's website. The other three buttons in the top right hand corner are functional for map display purposes. The base map gallery allows you to choose from six different background images that will seamlessly display the most highly resolved image depending on how zoomed in you are. For example, you click on world imagery, it will change the background to be imagery. As you zoom in by rolling in or using the buttons on the other side of this mapping tool at to the top left, it will go and access a different imagery for that particular location that is of a higher resolution. You can minimize the base map gallery or close it all together. The layer list will show you all the layers that you can either have turned on or turned off and displayed within this web mapping tool. By default, these are the layers that are turned on. I'm going to turn off a few of the layers just to simplify our mapping application view here. And by clicking on these three buttons, you have other options such as zoom to. I'm going to zoom to the shade model. You'll notice that these also expand to show you other layers underneath that can be turned on or turned off. Currently, only the model extent is displayed by default. You can also move them up or down to overlap other layers. So for example, if I wanted to have the shade model drawn underneath the intrinsic potential for coho salmon, I would move it down or move auxiliary layers up. And therefore, when the intrinsic potential draws, it draws on top. So you can have different layering levels as desired. In addition to the layers list, which allows you to turn layers on and off and access other uh, web services, such as the watershed boundary data set for HUC boundaries or soil survey information, you can also simply look at the legend, which will only show you those operational layers that are turned on at this time. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that now. And next up, we will begin to explore some of the other widgets and tools available here in the top left-hand corner.